you sat there, I want to go on to another little fella named Zacchaeus. You know the fella in Luke 19, don't you? Zacchaeus. You know the little man that, that tax folk that we don't like. The IRS, we run from them. We claim dogs and cats and birds and rats and, and chickens and ducks and goose. We claim everything to avoid the IRS. But Jesus said, I got to go to Zacchaeus' house. Zacchaeus is a short man. And you know, we didn't listen. We find anything to discriminate against. Yes, short folk get discriminated against. Zacchaeus had to press so hard, he climbed up the sycamore tree. Because he had to see this man who had the ability and the capability to change lives. Jesus Christ has the ability and the capability and the willingness to change your life regardless of your background. Don't tell me where you came from. I'm one of 14 children born to a two-bedroom shotgun house with one bell. And all 14 children finished high school. So don't tell me about being poor. I know about being poor. I know about going next door to borrow water to boil the stove to unstick some frozen pipes to take a wash up to go to school and I bet not disrespect the school. So I know about that. But Paul know about it too. Paul say I know how to abase and I know how to abound. I know how to be full and I know how to be empty. What do you say? I'm saying wherever I go, I've learned to be content. So I learned this life is about contentment. Because I heard Paul tell Timothy, godliness with contentment, baby, that's a great game. So Jesus said, I want to go talk to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, come down from that sycamore tree. And everybody who was, who was supposedly loving Jesus started talking about him. How you, as a man of God, profess to be a man of God, hanging out with folk like Zacchaeus? You got folks that be in cemeteries cutting themselves and you call them folk your inner circle. You hang around prostitutes and, and folk that, that, that wouldn't even go to today's church. Those are the folk you hang around and you're talking about you, God. Are you on some Jesus? Jesus said, I must go to Zacchaeus' house. Zacchaeus said, you know what? I'm a tither. You can't be a tax collector and be a tither. Come on now. You can work for county government. And be a tither. And be a tither. See, Zacchaeus had that right. Zacchaeus said, and just in case I got something by mistake or something that I didn't deserve, I restored that for both. Because I'm a tax collector and I'm not a crook. See, you can be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, a nurse without being a crook. You can be a tax collector without being a crook. So Jesus said, I went to Zacchaeus' house. Zacchaeus, this tax collector, this short man, that everybody talked about, that nobody want to have no dealings with. No one wanted to associate with him. Jesus went to his house. And Jesus said, brother, you got a double blessing. You are Salvation has came to your house tonight by means of me yeah. who can only give salvation. But also, brother, you go from being Zacchaeus to a son of Abraham. Yeah. See, God is awesome. Woo. Don't tell me about the God I serve. This is the stuff about racism that we talk about God can't handle. Oh. That when the Kansas City Chiefs and the Houston Texans line up last night, yeah. folks start booing. Yeah. It's all because Jesus Christ is not Lord. Come on. Once you make Christ your Lord and Savior, Come on, all that stuff changed. Yeah, the Hebrew writer in the 12th chapter says like this. He says, lay aside. Lay aside. See, if you don't follow Christ, you have got to put some stuff down. Your Facebook page. Ain't about you being so sexy. Come on now. Mm, come on. From an anatomy standpoint, anatomy. 
I'm a father of four. Come on now. Your body is just like my mother's body is. Yeah, it is. And your body is just like my daddy's body is. Come on. And mine is just like your parents. So we don't need to glorify skin. Yeah, yeah. Skin is skin. Yeah, it is. But when you put on Jesus, Watch out. when you put on Jesus, Watch out. you clothe yourself in humility. You put on the breastplate of righteousness. You have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You lose that edge and that anger. You lose racism and discrimination and sexual harassment. When you put on Jesus. So, as I close tonight, as I close, I hope I said something that bless you. Hope I said something, thank my brother. Hope I said something bless you. Don't be like the woman at the well. She was going there because, see, the Bible don't say whether there was infidelity involved, Pastor. The Bible don't say what led to her four, I mean five husbands. We don't know if all five died. We don't know if all five cheated. We don't know if she cheated on all five of them and they divorced her. None of those things are the issue. When she came into contact with Jesus, she became what we know as an evangelist. Zacchaeus was a good man. A good man. He loved folk, but he had a job that demanded that he conduct himself in a righteous manner. But he still must do his job. I got folk now who I hear folk criticizing presidential candidates and vice presidential candidates because she had to do her job. That's her job. Like my job, I work for the government. And I must follow the outlines of the government. And when you come there Monday through Friday, I have to operate as a professional. But Sunday, I can work on your salvation. Come but on. Monday through Friday, I must execute according to the policy and procedure manual. For Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, he went from being just a good man who was a tithe. He went, he got salvation, and he became a son. In other words, he was adopted into the fold. If you're here tonight, if, you, if you're here tonight, we know we can't corporately worship in church. But if you're here tonight, God can meet you wherever you are. If you want a name change, Young lady, a man will never complete you. Never. Young man, a woman will never complete you. Older man, older woman, they can't do it. Because the Bible says in Isaiah, all flesh is grass. All of it. And it all going to wither away. What you see before you right now is withering away. What do you know or not? There was a time in my life I had hair like Michael Jackson. That it wouldn't even stand the afro was so tall, but it withered away. Withered away. But let me leave you with this. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, verse 2. I want to challenge you. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Look at somebody tell them, look to Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. But, I don't, but it don't stop there. That's good. But it don't stop there. The Bible says, who for the joy that was set before him, help me Holy Ghost, he endured the shame of the cross. I got news for you, if you're going to follow Jesus, it's bigger than going to church. If you're going to follow Jesus, you must endure the shame of your cross. See, Jesus says that, that, that if, you don't, if you're going to follow after me, the first requirement is to take up, my, take up the cross and deny yourself. So you got to put yourself out the equation. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what I told Pastor and First Lady. It's all about Jesus. God bless me as he 57 years of age last week. A couple weeks ago, 31st. The rest of it is about Jesus. When I was a kid in South Memphis, the old men said something like this. I didn't know what they meant. They said, I might laugh, I might kid, and I may joke. But I don't play. When I put the microphone down, I may laugh with you. I may kid with you. I might tell a good joke. But I don't play about this gospel. 
I don't think about Jesus. He's the only operating agent. He's the only thing that can fully change your life. He took profanity out of my mouth and put love in my heart. And I don't care what color you are. They asked Jesus. The apostles told him, look, Jesus, they told his family, your brother in love. Come and see about Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, who is my family? Who's my brother? I know. I lost a brother in life. I got five biological brothers and eight sisters. I know they my blood family. But who is my family? Who is my family? Those who do the will of my father. That's, it. That's my family. That's my and I challenge you. I have Mars. If you go Mars, do it peacefully. Yeah. If you go Mars, march for justice and yeah. march for righteousness. And then when you finish marching and they put a camera in your face on the news, then come back and walk in love. Right. Romans 14 and 17. God's kingdom is not meat. It's not drink. God's kingdom. I say God's kingdom. It's not mansions and cars and wardrobes and polo shirts and Gucci purses and doing it birth purses. God's kingdom is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And that's what I want to depart with you tonight. On, My brother, I thank you. Yeah. I love you. Oh, I love you. I appreciate you for allowing me the opportunity to say a word. I love you. I love you. God bless the work of your hand. You know ain't nothing but a phone call away. And God bless your homes and God bless your families. The peace of God be upon you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.